Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Han, and today's plan diary is the update of recovering my begonia plant. So, this is the begonia plant that I've been growing from very long time ago. I don't even remember where was it from. I definitely I filmed last time and then I checked the date, but again, I forget it. But in my memory, I have been growing this one about one year, and this is the plant that actually was remaining very beautiful. Like, I will update on the picture on copra here. There was a time that I had been going through copra things, and at that time, I couldn't really manage my plant much. Because of that reason, it has been damaged a lot. It has been dropped so much foliage, looks like almost looks like a skeleton, and it wasn't even looks weird to just throwing out because. It was that much bad, like this. Even though it's being damaged, it looks like the symptom was like more like dry condition because most of the foliage was like almost like dried up. And then it doesn't really showing any symptoms of root rotting because generally if the plant is root rotting, it tends to be black and squishy. My plant wasn't at that much impact. And honestly, one thing is like as far as the plant is not being damaged by root rotting, then it's pretty much able to recover those plants so for me what i did was like about two months ago i chopped them up and then constantly like growing them watering occasionally giving it a good light condition which was medium light i would say and then watering is like i gave water quite often like once in five days in that way the soils can be still remain moist and yeah this is the Research after months now it has been grown much more grown and then looks like need another training otherwise it's gonna be bent over to the downside so I prepare these sticks to give extra support so originally I put this one here to just helping but then this stem is have been grown quite longer so now I think it's better to be make it stand up. So I just take it out. And then we prepare with a little more thicker one. And this time I'm gonna stick a little more closer. Again, when you're tying up the plant, it's better to not tie up the new emerging area. Otherwise, it's gonna damage the new foliage. And then, including myself, I believe. Nobody wants to face in a situation that have been waiting for long to see the new foliage and then see the damage more. So, it's better to tie up just below. But also at the same time, make sure to not tie it up too tight. If it just can hold the plant, then that's enough. Like this. This is also probably better to stick a little closer. Whoops. This is still too long. Plus I saw it's gonna grow slowly, but then it's grown very quick. So I need to stick this one now. As well. Give a little space on this side. So it can be a little bit opening and give a space, give a little bit of empty space so they can have some. And 
the last one is this one which is general holding pretty okay just gonna put it like that open it so it can more give us support so yes that's pretty much everything for today training I mean like it has been grown way much more and since now this is getting warmer and warmer it's very close to September so that's why I'm gonna give fertilizer one more time but since last time I already gave an indoor plant purpose fertilizer instead of same fertilizer I prefer to give other one I mean like if it was earlier I would have just give another fertilizer this time but the soil is have been fertilizer a lot and the mostly the way that root is working is like the process of osmosis when the root is able to absorb the water the root is need to be more high concentration compared to the soil but if I give too much like fertilizer I'll say chemical or stuff later the there is gonna be the stage that the soil is gonna be high concentration than root then the osmosis the osmosis process is going to be work in an opposite way so eventually the plants cannot absorb those water when I think about those things like I can't really put too much fertilizer as well but also again, again at the same time now it's at the end of the August right now is kind of perfect timing to stimulating the plant to grow way much faster so in that way instead of giving us the same fertilizer I decide to give this time this one like this is just coffee bean, coffee grinded bean because I work as barista as well during the weekdays that's why I got some coffee beans and I did some compost process so now it's like dried out so I heard general coffee beans also work very well as a fertilizer so today instead of fertilizer I will just give this one a bit break it So hopefully, it can help it to grow. So yes, this is pretty much everything for today's video. I'm gonna, for the location, I'll keep it in the medium light condition so it can help it to grow. Watering is like still I prefer to get water about once it's five days to seven days to make the soil constantly moist. Thank you for watching and after a month later I will bring another update or video. Meanwhile if you want to see how my plan is performing I more occasionally update on my Instagram or through my YouTube show. So if you follow or subscribe you will see how my plan is performing there. Thank you very much and I will see you later.